Ah oh, yes, burning of the clothes. I'm gonna have to censor that. Hello you beautiful people, welcome back. In this video I'm gonna be reacting to Ace Ventura Pet Detective. I've heard it's one of the most transphobic movies of all time, so let's see if that's true. Some coffee! Tonight on Miami Vice, Crockett gets the boss a coffee. Ventura, when I get out of that bathroom, you better be gone. Is it number one or number two? I just want to know how much time I have. Hey, uh, by the way, I went ahead and solved that pesky snowflake pedactor merino thing. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you ever heard of a former dolphin kicker named Ray Finkel? She didn't wash her hands. All right, Ventura. Make it quick. I found a rare stone at the bottom of Snowflake's tank. It belongs to a Dolphin 84 AFC Championship ring. It would have been a Super Bowl ring, but Ray Finkel missed the big kick. Blames the whole thing on Marino. We're talking paranoid delusional psychosis. I saw the guy's room. It's cozy if you're Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal Lecter, an interesting reference for this. Strikes me as a little odd that they didn't say Buffalo Bill. However, would the average person who hasn't seen the film know that name? So they're, they're definitely trying to go for the trans villain story here. And it's weird they didn't bring that up, but they brought up Hannibal Lecter. I'm sorry, could you speak into my good ear? I thought I heard you call me Ace. Maybe I was wrong about you. Maybe you are more than just a pet dick. All right. gun is digging into my hip. What's wrong, Ace? Want me to read you your rights? Don't want an accidental discharge. Ace, I want you to leave everything to us. I can't do that, Lieutenant. I was hired to find Snowflake. When we find Marino, we'll deliver Snowflake. When I find Snowflake, I'll deliver. I know it's transphobic, but this is Jim Carrey's hysterical. Finkel escaped from Shady Acres in Tampa. They still have some of his stuff. Ace, they're not just going to let us waltz in and look around. I know. It's a good thing I'm a master of disguise. Mrs. Robinson, I'm Dr. Handley. Hi. Uh, now, who is it that you'd like us to have a look at? My brother, Larry. I'm ready to go in, coach. Just give me a chance. I know there's a lot riding on it, but it's all psychological. Just got to stay in a positive frame of mind. I'm going to execute a button hook pattern super slow mo. Wow, when people talk about Ace Ventura Pet Detective, they typically talk about the transphobia, but you don't hear people talking about the ableism that much. And the tutu sort of sells the idea that gender nonconformity is making you crazy. Let's face it, your master is a loser. Lou Hill. Oh no. Okay, so we're getting into the transphobia. It. Einhorn is Finkel. Finkel is Einhorn. Einhorn is a man. Oh my God. Einhorn is a man. <laughs> okay, so they're playing the crying game theme. And yeah, that's one of the most transphobic movies of all time. Also, if this video gets up to 300 likes, I'll react to the crying game. As we discussed in a previous episode where we look at Family Guy, Brian did the same sort of thing with himself. He vomited and tried to frantically clean himself. Now, I was under the impression before I saw this that they had slept together. No, that hadn't even happened. They just kissed each other. So anyway, this is really transphobic. And there's a big reason why here. This is pretty much a universal thing amongst all trans people that if you're having any sort of physical contact with someone, 
you tell them. Now, there's a difference between this and living stealth. Stealth means you don't tell people like your coworkers. Stealth does not mean you don't tell any partners. Like if you're kissing someone or sleeping with them, you should tell them. And this is transphobic because being in remote contact with a trans person means that you want to vomit at their appearance. People tell me this all the time. Ace Ventura, he interacts with a lot of men throughout this film. Why doesn't he feel the need to vomit with any of them? I mean, earlier in this film, there was an implied sex scene between him and a man, but that didn't result in anything. I'm just saying that this is really transphobic and honestly it's something that needs to be stopped. Also from a creative perspective this isn't very good because it's unoriginal. Also, I just noticed this. He has the toilet paper wrong. Ah oh, yes, burning of the clothes. I'm gonna have to censor that. I know the joke is the exaggeration, but what it's saying is a problem. It's saying that trans people are so disgusting you have to clean yourself and burn all your clothes. That is a problem. Gun is digging into my hip. He's ruminating and it's just not good. And the music to the steps, it's quite transphobic. That's pretty impressive in heels. Okay, a good gag. We'll get some more fish. Kill that dolphin. Lovely party. Those are some pretty evil guys to want to kill a dolphin. <laughs> Unconscious. Exactly as I planned. Okay. <laughs> you don't need to be transphobic to tell jokes. What's going on? Oh, okay. Yeah. Guess what, boys? It's nap time. Ah, we got some Home Alone style traps here. What would you know about pressure? Well, I have kissed a man. So, he's calling her a man. But it was implied earlier that he kissed a man, at the very least. I'm going to continue using she, her pronouns for her because that's what she currently identifies with. And the idea of getting disguised as a different identity, you could do that as a male persona if you weren't trans. Like, changing your identity to a different gender, that sounds like something a trans person would do. And to be clear, I think trans people can be villains, but you shouldn't root their villainy in their transness. Because trans people aren't inherently villains, and when you connect transness to that, you are linking the two when they don't belong together. Like, look at Count Olaf from a series of unfortunate events. Like, he's able to switch up disguises a lot, and the vast majority of his disguises are male. Because he's male. That makes some sense there. What you wouldn't read about is how Ray Finkel lost his mind, was committed to a mental hospital only to escape and join the police force under the assumed identity of a missing hiker, manipulating his way to the top in a diabolical scheme to get even with Dan Marino, whom he blamed for the entire thing. What the hell are you talking about? She's not Louis Einhorn. She's Ray Finkel. Uh, She's a man. He's lying. Poor transphobia. Shut up! <laughs> Let's just see who's lying, shall we? Would a real woman 
have to wear one of these? The amount of times I've been told to stop wearing a wig, in the videos at least I'm not wearing a wig, would surprise you. But no one ever says that to me when I'm actually wearing a wig. Weird, huh? Not to mention lots of women wear wigs. Boy, that's really on there. But tell me this, would a real woman be missing these? Sexual assault. <laughs> that kind of surgery can be done over the weekend. Technically, but I doubt very much if he could find technically the true. his busy schedule to get rid of big old Mr. Kanish. Tucking. Ace, come here. Would you excuse me for just one second? Ladies and gentlemen, my esteemed colleague, Mr. Marino, has just brought some new evidence to my attention. Now, history has certainly shown that even the most intuitive criminal investigator can be wrong from time to time. But if I am mistaken, if the lieutenant is indeed a woman, as she claims to be, then my friend, she is suffering from the worst case of hemorrhoids I have ever seen! That's a very deep tuck. Um, t if you're doing a tuck properly, it should not be that deep. Second, let me rewrite this again. Never do this to a trans person. Never, ever do this to a trans person. This has actually happened in real life, so don't do it. Never do this to a trans person. It is assault, it is wrong, and you are outing them. It is extremely dangerous. That's why Roger Pedactor is dead! He found Captain Winky! And of course, crying game. Everyone needing to vomit. Because apparently, the very sight of a trans person is worth vomiting over. Imagine if I said the same thing about cis people. So that was Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Really, trans people only existed at this as a joke and a punchline, so therefore, F fails across the board when talking about trans people and the struggles we go through. If you want to see an extended version of this video, Please, sign up for my page. Thank you to my patrons for helping make this possible, and especially thank you to Jeremy Barms for contributing at the $10 tier on Patreon. If you would like to be mentioned at the end of a video like this, please sign up for the $10 tier over on my Patreon. But if you can't do that, at least give this video a like and subscribe. It really boosts this channel along, and I'll greatly appreciate it.